Hey everyone, welcome back. I just want to do another daily video log so I can give you guys some updates on some stuff that's going on with me right now and going on in this career field in general right now. So first off, let's get it out of the way. Uh, happy Independence Day to everybody out there. It was an excellent weekend, very hot out here in Houston. But uh, we come back to work this, this morning and I found out that yet again, several of my coworkers are gonna be out sick for two, three weeks, or something like that. So right now, as it stands, my shop is about one third to one half sick from COVID-19. And uh, guys, I just gotta tell you, you guys gotta start washing your hands. And when you come into the office from out walking around the hospital, as soon as you come in, put your stuff down, go wash your hands. I, I could sit there, and it's not just this shop, I've seen it in many shops. A lot of people just don't do it. And it, this is very serious, guys. It's really starting to hit us. So right now, we're at probably about 50% manning, and we don't know what's gonna happen next. We could all be sick right now. I wouldn't know, possibly for another week or two. So there's something to let everybody uh, everybody know that it's, it's a very serious issue and I know I, I look like I'm very tired right now and I am because I'm still running 58 operating rooms with two people I know in my, one of my last videos I said I was getting a third person but that is gonna be on hold for a while and uh, I wish everybody the best but uh, I'm back to two people and currently we're even doing stuff outside the realm of operating rooms because as a shop, as a team, we're, we're short-handed considerably. So um, a couple of other updates I want to tell you guys about is the hiring freeze. Not just this hospital, all sorts of hospitals. We are at a hiring freeze right now and if you guys are looking at the job listings, and it appears like there's not too many biomed jobs out there in this world, it's because a lot of hospitals are very uncertain of their future and their future expenses, so they are putting everything on a freeze. So if you don't like your current position, you don't think that you are where you should be career-wise, hold off. Do not make any rash decisions, definitely do not walk off the job or anything ridiculous. Take this time to invest in yourself as a professional and and do your resume up nice and beautiful and hone those skills that it's going to take to get to that next level because when this all opens up and this hiring freeze goes away for many of these hospitals there's going to be lots of biomed jobs on the market so just letting you guys know if you think that there's not too many biomed jobs out there hold off everybody's in a hiring freeze me too and right now, I'm even though I'm like at 50% manning on my team, they're not gonna hire anybody else to help me right now, if ever. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm obviously wore out because of it and I'm very tired. And um, you know, I, I think I can see every single day the amount of stress on people's faces because uh, as I said in one of my other videos, we have new management new management has their expectations and their metrics that they want to meet and here we are you know already stretched thin we've been stretched thin for a long time and with covid now half my half my biomed shop is uh sick so um guys just take care of yourselves wash your hands don't do anything rash invest in yourself professionally make sure that all your paperwork and all your training is up to date and uh, there's one other update I want to give to you guys, and I wanted to talk about the lag in logistics. We are seeing it. There's parts that are on back order all over the place. Um, we're even seeing it with vendors. You know, vendors will come in, what normally would be a 24 hour turnaround on a repair, they come in, they order parts, and we don't hear from them for days because the parts on back order. Yes, it's poor customer service. Yes, they should be letting us know an update, but our vendors are also being stretched pretty thin right now. So I, I kind of understand that. Um, but anyway guys, that's the update for you guys. If I don't make as many videos as I'd like, it's because by the time I get home, 
I have other stuff that I've got to work on too and I'm just completely exhausted lately so I'm trying I, I swear to you guys I'll do better but at the moment we are just uh, a little boxed in and uh, I just wanted to let you guys all know the status of the industry is we're all stretched thin parts are not coming in and there's no jobs <laughs> so take care of yourselves and wash your hands all right